gorgeous, gorgeous start to the second podcast, <laughs> second No Spoilers podcast. Two weeks in a row. Can you believe we've yeah, been going yeah. this long? <laughs> oh my god, this is a record. <laughs> We're a great, great way to start the uh, second podcast off with a bit of Chrono Trigger. My favourite theme from the game. So, yeah. I knew, also knew that. I knew that. Yeah, welcome to the second episode of the No Spoilers podcast, joined by... Mr. Ho, at the bottom middle today. Bottom mid. <laughs> He's bottom, bottom mid. mid. Say hello. Lad, solo mid. League solo and mid. <laughs> <laughs> and in the top left corner, Dan Rail in Railsy93. You. What's up? Expert guitar master. Expert. We're also sponsored by Coca Cola this time. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> I wish. I thought we're sponsored by Monster, actually, buddy. Uh, oh, shit. We Contract disagreement. <laughs> No. KX sponsored by Tesco's Tesco. own. Tesco. <laughs> Proud sponsor of Jason oh. Plato. It's the special edition. Of what? Of who? Jason what? I thought you said Jason Status. No, Imagine Jason Plato Jason because Plato. apparently he is the most successful driver in the history of the British Touring Car Championship and the face of the KX Academy. Academy <laughs> spelt with a K. Was this on the topic list? <laughs> Shit. No, <laughs> today, I'm sorry. Cheap energy drinks <laughs> and the Talk face about tangents them. and going. Well, my favorite that. cheap energy drink is actually what's it called? Kick, was it? Kick, kick. kick. Wow. Oh no, boost, Do boost. That's boost. The one. Yeah, kick and boost are so different. How did you get them mixed up? Kick is like remember Red Booster. Red Booster? Red I don't remember. Red Booster, Massive no. bottle. Remember no, Emerge? Emerge was the one growing up. <laughs> Emerge. Well, I'll say growing up. Emerge. I, I still, yeah, I still drink Emerge with Jaeger. Adolescent skateboarding. Anyway. We've got yeah, uh, but got an alright episode coming up. Mediocre, not an exciting apart from ukulele hitting its kickstart as a goal in three hours. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> GTA talk and mods, hatred being released or getting a release date and not being cancelled as we thought it was. And Square Enix's tech demo. The witch bracket the witch. cry bracket. Chapters it. How? Like, how why, are, why are they so weird? And it was a weird name. It's so <laughs> weird. It's like chapter zero, the witch, oh. weird, square bracket, cry. <laughs> well, I understand. This, I understand. I don't, just cry. Is it actually how it's. Hyphen, yeah, hyphen. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's called chapter zero, then the witch, or maybe just witch, and then underneath that is like the square, the weird square bracket, and it says cry. Mm. But, yeah. Um, we're going to start off with another little introduction to us a little top anticipated games of the year and it's actually going to be organized this time we've got games <laughs> we've got yeah. games, we're not doing, we're games. Not doing on this. and we're not going to do stupid rules like having it come out at Guessing. any time of the year it's we're not going to wing it most anticip yeah we're not going to wing it <laughs> we've done a slight bit of organization i feel <laughs> i feel one book. page of an a6 a notebook <laughs> a6 <laughs> on notes and for those yeah. who don't know, A6 is actually smaller than A A5, which is smaller than A4, <laughs> which is you your know. average size paper, <laughs> and A3 is I'm, twice I'm as big. I'm so going to edit the more you know to just over that bit. <laughs> <laughs> just cut yours at that bit. But, yeah. Uh, most anticipated games of this year. So yeah. this is going to be games that will be released this year, or maybe just pushing into next year, because there's been a lot of games that have been delayed until next year. With the, which oh, we're meant to come been lied to before. Yeah, we've been lied to. Well, yeah, I'll start if unless anyone. I started last time. So oh, I, I know, I know. I already know what is one of your I, most intense. Yeah, but since you, you can't said, give it away. People who are watching don't know that. <laughs> you can't well, give are it we, away. Well, we're talking about it in general. It's not like we're guessing. I no, can give. Guess. I know mine. What we are know, guessing? What? All right. But yeah, I'll be guessing or not. Uh, no, we don't get it. Don't no, do no, it. Well, not, maybe it's... guess the top answers. <laughs> it's definitely. It's definitely that. That Stop. one of them. Shush. Shush. We're, shush still We're still booking it. Am I going first sporting. then? Yeah, or... go first, aren't you? Go for it. Okay. My number three is Final Fantasy 15. Of course. Final <laughs> Fantasy 15. I've put it. I've put it three because I kind of I've been waiting for it long enough that it's kind of just there now. I think it's like it. I have a feeling it'll probably be released at the end of this year. Mm. But I've. I've, uh, since, we I've got, since we got like since we got like the demo with with uh, Type Zero, yeah. so it then. like it's obviously like you know Ready to coming go. along, mm. but uh, we need to just, yeah like, that's edit, why it's edit the three. picture of the, the Titanic, like it's been forty six years. Wait, I've seen that before. Did you see the Titanic one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
when you finished uh, creating your character out of oh, a brand well, new RPG. RPG. <laughs> yeah, it's been 83 years. I've been waiting 83 years. <laughs> <laughs> what was, oh, that, that's just like probably reminded me of a cartoon. Which? Might have been Dexter's Laboratory, like a proper old cartoon. Oh. Did it! Is it the one where he drops his pencil to the back of the bus? And like he goes. Oh, back and there. this dude like stop, yeah, stopping yeah, going. Yeah, this dude is just like fuck <laughs> yeah. He's like oh lived there all his life. I <laughs> love that. I love that episode so much. It used to Jeez. fucking creep me out so much. It was creepy. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy was yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess I don't I watch actually... the same cartoons as you white guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> actually, might as well like get cats for the first time Go for on. high school and like being scared to sit at the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> In case the, the hand comes out and steals your pencil. In case it was like loads of gum and <laughs> dragged into the abyss. <laughs> Richard. Anyway. <laughs> My number third, three. Uh, most anticipated game. My third. Let's see. One, two, three. I guess it would be the division. The division? Mm. division. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Tom class. Really? No, uh, really? I'm sure. I'm sure. I've been going on. Not going on. Not recently because there hasn't been any news. Well, there probably has been news, but I haven't been. No, it really, lately. It really hasn't. I haven't heard much from the. I've heard yeah. more from Siege. I haven't than heard I have from from the division. You, Jay, you yeah, haven't heard of it. I'm not. No, not even heard of it. Richard, Tom Clancy's <laughs> <almost> division. <laughs> the division. Oh, dude. Richard, it was so sick. Tom Clancy, the king. Yeah. Explain to Dan why you're so yeah. excited for it and what it, what kind of game it is. Well, from what we guns. know. Guns. Guns. <laughs> guns. Just guns. No, oh, Lancy, but no. Yeah. They um, released a trailer, well, a while ago. How long was it? When did it, it was like two, e must be two years ago. On E3, two years ago? I think it might have been two, two years ago, yeah. Could three. be wrong. Uh, it just, oh, uh, just I'll like probably the gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a third person shooter with tactical and such. Tactical. Tactic, tactics. At the, time, and, like, it, can, at the time, it looked like, yeah, time. like an action. Uh, like action RPG an action last of us like more action yeah, yeah. rather it's kinda, than it's like, story mm -hmm. story driven mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. linear yeah. of with more like of more it's like last of us in the future kind of thing mm -hmm. but and without the zombies mm -hmm. and such i li and, i mean like... i i like the idea of it cuz as you know i'm very bent out on zombies like i just i'm just so sick of zombies there's no zombies no and exactly and like yeah. rather than cuz most survival games really if you think about it, isn't fighting zombies or like the undead or the infected? It's, it's like fighting other humans, and it's like the psychology of survival Wait, that mean, intrigues me. Like that, open world survival. Like, or... Well, any really or survival any, any like post-apocalyptic like... post-apocalyptic s oh, okay. games. There's always like two threats. There's always usually like the infected slash zombies slash beasts, beasts and, and then you've mutate, got mutants, the other survivors who you fight against. But um, I I mean. I'm just so bent out on like zombies and fighting. I'd rather them introduce a game that focuses on the psychology of survival between humans. But that's just me. Between humans, I think that. Oh, yeah. I think I think. Well, isn't that still post-apocalypse? Well, yeah, it's still post-apocalypse. It's not the it's set. Just, not like the set. It's, it's just without the third element. It's just humans on yeah, humans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because that's because realistically, if there was to be a post-apocalypse fallout. It would just like there's not going to be mutants or zombies or anything. Is that like realistically it, it well, would be the psychology of fighting against other humans? I mean, just pl I mean playing Daisy. Like imagine Daisy without the zombies. Like you're fighting against. Just, other, it'll be exactly the same. Playing Daisy, it's crazy because you're in for We'll we'll get we'll do an actual like proper episode about this because I feel like we could talk about it a lot. Um, but the psychology of you talking to pl other players in Daisy is kind of like derivative from what you'd actually talk like in real life in that situation like i was playing the other day and i was unarmed and someone came and they were armed and he was like oh i need to check your backpack just to be sure he's like i do trust you but i need to check your backpack just to be sure and i was stood there with like my arms up while he was like checking my backpack i was like i've got nothing and like he was and i just it's just it's so weird how like in how involved and how much you push emotion into the game like that but i feel like a lot more could be done especially story wise could you imagine like a, can you imagine like a story where there's like uh, betrayal Daisy? and backstabbing and stuff like that. Like, ugh, it'd, so does, it'd be so gripping. Do you imagine like Daisy, but with with a story? Mm -hmm. I don't want to really say campaign mode, like <laughs> campaign. You know, well, quote unquote campaign mode. Quote I mean, campaign. Yeah, you're like, like a single well, player. You can have, have, have an open world story game that doesn't yeah. necessarily follow a campaign, but more. Yeah, yeah like a, like an RPG kind of thing. Work, so yeah, it's though. optional. It's down to you to exactly, what yeah. decisions you make. That'd be really good, actually. Imagine like what a, upgrade like an RPG survival game, like. Yeah, that'd be so freaking cool. 
I suppose like, no, like, 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 like on land game segments. <laughs> like you, you have Fallout, but Fallout's like a weird setting, I think. I've never even played Fallout. No, I don't Fallout's think that's not would, really like, realistic, is it? Because mm. you've got like the mutants and space weapons and shit. But mm. I mean, take Daisy, the realism of Daisy, apply it to an RPG. I think that'd be cool. But mm. that's enough about Daisy yeah. and psychology. Of no, but I anyway. don't think that will work. Okay, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't work at all. We'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about it on a full episode because I feel like we could talk for like an hour on this. Find out next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Last week's episode isn't even out yet. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so bad. Well, uh, my number three. It might come as a surprise. Um, we didn't ask you. You guys heard of a little ditty called No Man's Sky? I was actually gonna say that. Yeah. Because No I Man's was, Sky. Like, that that's like. I mean, mm, the first time, the first time I saw it, I was like, bullshit. I was like, there's there's no way an indie development could like do that. And then they had the what was it? Uh, the Game Awards. Do you remember that? We, mm-hmm. want, we watched yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunborn Rip. We watched them together. Yeah, exactly. And um, when they showed like the tech demo there of it actually playing in real time, it was like, holy shit, this is what I've dreamed of as like a little kid. Like, this is everything <laughs> I've wanted. Like, just to be able to take off in a spaceship, just fly about space, and then just fucking jump to land hyperspace and land on a planet. And just real time come in. So, no cutscenes, mm-hmm. no like, oh, you're now landing on this planet. It's mm-hmm. just straight in. You can explore. You mightn't have even, like, no one might have been on that planet before. That's how big it's going to replicate an actual universe that procedurally generates and builds as the player explores, which is which is just, it's crazy. You could land on a planet that no, and it's, is it online only? Is it only, only online? Yeah. Um, I have a look at it. But yeah, if you yeah. arrive at a planet, you can claim that planet for your own, and then another player comes along, and it's like, oh, How, this do you is... Is that in real time? Like, <sights> without, that's, that's, without what's so, that's what's so mind-blowing about frame, it. Frame rate drops. And... It's nuts. Richard, the resident fact-checker on it. <clears throat> The only one, yeah. the only one of us with dual monitors. In I, August I 2014, the developers announced that the game would be playable offline. Cool. So it is an, so, so there's an offline as well, which offline is, which is and... always good. But I feel like What's to get that proper. What's the actual proper... kind of, do you know, but the premise of the no game one is knows, like no one knows. They haven't even it's said. Just a mystery. It's literally just like <laughs> explore. Like just here's the concept. Procedurally yeah. generated open universe with mm-hmm. players with being free to explore and upgrade their characters and its star- starship. I don't think there's like it's not going to be like. Shooting, I don't think it's going to be like it's, it's gonna be focused space on, battles. Like, it's just like exploring wonder, and like meeting new people online kind of I think, thing. I think, think what well, I think is going to be <laughs> it's is a big <laughs> universal chat room. Imagine DayZ without the shooting and everyone's just like talking to Evan. It's just a giant open world game yeah. it's a where everyone's room. friendly. <laughs> everyone just room. meet new people. It's a glorified yeah, it's chat, a chat room. room. Yeah. <laughs> it's a two K seven hands eyes off. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> we have to talk about that one time. Oh my god, that was the funny. In fact, I don't think we can talk about that because I, I get too offensive when when I speak like that. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about um. Why are, those are we type, going on a tangent? Type of games are called? What are they Story. called? Like oh, not just like chat rooms, aren't they? Yeah. Social hub. It's, like, it's a social. That's the one. So it's just a social hub, really, isn't it? It's like Habbo Hotel. Yeah. That. Sims, but yeah. Chat room. I always used to think, like playing Habbo Hotel, why can't they just have Sims graphics and but like Habbo? Like it'd be so cool. Like it's just so mad. Like what my mind used to go to as a kid. But yeah, cut across to your number two, fam. Uh, Numero dos. Um, what's it? Have? Right. Okay. Um, Legends of Zelda. Were you? Oh, I knew it. That's, two, that's, that's, yeah. I reckon that's Paul's first one. Rip twenty fifteen. You know what? You'd be yeah. surprised. Oh, um, <laughs> you're right. I'm, you I'm not surprised right. that they, yeah, I'm not surprised that they've yeah, pushed it back. I mean, I'm, back. I'm not even upset. Like, I ain't even mad. No, I mean, either. I, I I'd mad. rather they took it, the time. It's like, it's like um, yeah. yeah. What's like you want them to make a good job of the game rather than yeah, push it and like pushed, yeah. make people happy with yeah. a half made game, <laughs> which is pretty much every game on early access now on Steam. It's, no, I'm good. Sorry, one well, maybe something's went. Wait, wrong. what's going on? What are you doing, Paul? The stream. I don't know if it's froze or if it's just. I, I think it's just you. All difficulties. Mine's still on. Is it same? On like is it still your on fri- your quality yeah, keeps dropping. It, Even mine keeps or... dropping. So, yeah, yeah, just a tad. Like it's flipping. Let me see if it... 
No, like it's oh, still yeah, going. Oh, back oh come yeah, on. It's, it's back on now. Do we have to cut that out? Well, we can't cut out. It's live stream. <laughs> yeah, but we'll keep it. No, everyone, no. just be quiet. Yeah, it's always on. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> no. Yeah, so, <laughs> we're Zelda, back. Zelda, you. Yeah, like I wasn't even. I wasn't even mad that the um, that they they pushed it back. Like Miyamoto when came out and he was like, "What did he say?" He, he was it. like, um, "He said this before because he's only." Direct, he's not. He's only directing it, right? Like he's he's not wet. Yeah, like, he's just like no, it was someone else it. who did yeah. the the video. But he, he was saying a few weeks before they've thought of new things to put in it, and they want to yeah. build it even bigger. A few weeks before, imagined. I can't remember the exact quote that he said, but he was like, "He'd rather have people get mad now, and then be mm -hmm. made up when they produce like a really great game, rather than." Them, like trying to please the fans and get out as fast as possible, and then having people hold a grudge against the game that they rushed out, sort of thing, which is which is smart. Like I, I don't even mind. I literally don't mind. Yeah, same. Like, they, like you could push it back to Christmas next year, and it's still, it'd still be like, whatever. But the thing that I'm thinking is maybe it has something to do with the new console that they're releasing. The new PS5 and X. I, like I haven't read much into it, but no. I'm kind of. I've, I've just got a week. Yeah, it was bad. Like, like, well, I'm the same. Yeah. I got it when they released the win. I released released a new 3DS like yeah. a couple of months after I got a normal 3DS. Oh, that's how it happens. <laughs> it's it's how you capitalize. It's how you make money. Yeah. Because the because they know the fans will buy it. It's same with Apple. It's like they they know people will do it. Well, Wait, yeah. I'll be super Apple pissed if they don't release it on Wii U though. Hmm. If they didn't release it on Wii U, though, I'd be super. Oh pissed. no! Yeah, they'd have they'd have to release it on Wii U like the. Probably. I don't think the console's due to come out for a couple of years, though. Is it? No, I know. They've, oh, yeah. it's, they've just gone into development with it, like no. Yeah. But I kind of feel or, like the like because yeah. they've announced it now, it's out in it. Like they can't work on it <laughs> incognito anymore. It's like they're always going to have press asking about it and the fans asking about it and stuff like that, which is just it just limits them. Like I would have just kept it under wraps for another year or so, unless they yeah. are planning on Dan. You've turned to a lovely blared mess. <laughs> no. His sounds dropped a bit, but it, it'll it'll clear up. You cleared up before. Should we move on to Richard number two? Yep. Pixel. And your Pixels. Pixels. That's your number two most. No, no, game. no. Pixels moving on. <laughs> Pixels the game. I'm actually the game. interested. To see uh, Pixels the movie, the game actually mm. starring Adam Sandler. I can't believe we haven't talked about that yet. Like, because no, it's a fuck so piece of shit. We started the podcast too late to talk about that. And we could always move on to it later. Yeah, go on. I'm actually intrigued to see your your most anticipated because I literally don't, don't can't think can't think of any. The Do you not think of my number one? Um. Well, this is number two. Clearly. What well, heaven's word? Yeah, heaven's. I was, I was gonna guess heaven's word for your number one. This is this is. Heaven saw that I got the collector's edition. I bought it. So fuck you. <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> you guys who haven't bought it, <laughs> it's coming up. It's it's gonna sit right next to this collector's edition, and it's gonna look it's fabulous so on my shelf. Okay, I don't think you can see mine. Mine's like <clears throat> next to GTA. Can you see it next to the Watchdogs one? Yeah. I'm so sorry for. Sorry. Uh, you should just show everyone your all your collector's edition. <laughs> oh, hey, it's over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst, if you can see here, my Zelda uh, chest. I actually spent 130 pounds on that when it released. <laughs> I've got no room for that. That's like the most annoying thing in my collection is that Zelda chest because it's so yeah. fucking heavy. Like Don't it's too heavy to pull up here. It's so much to store it, and I can't. Like usually, I'll just stack my boxes up, but you just can't stack it on top of a box because it'll just crush it. It's it's so weighty for six bucks. It's it's a weighty piece of shit. So. I'm waiting until I move into my studio slash attic. Hey, enough of the tangents. <laughs> Heaven's Ward, lad. Yeah, Heaven's Ward. I Quite think we're all anticipating that, to be honest. All three of us are probably really excited. All three of us. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Dan's I just, just, Dan's just, just excited to look for an excuse to buy it more <laughs> subscription. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm poor. I'm poor, but yeah. Would you I, get a free month if you bought the game? What was that? You could it, would you like get a free month if you bought the game? Well, heavens would. I don't Does know. It free... I don't know. It's a standalone game, isn't it? I don't it? think so... so. I think you only get a month free when you like um, make your account kind of like activate your account in game, maybe something like that. 
Mm-hmm. My copy oh, of Final oh. Fantasy XIV just chilling I on the hard that. drive because I've got a <laughs> digital copy. <laughs> I remember. I, uh, I remember. I reckon they'll do it um, a free week when it releases, you know, to get people back into it. Because the weird thing is, um, wait, what? Do you remember when we it's when we start, when we picked it up again? Oh, you mean Final Fantasy XIV? Yeah, yeah. Go... It was a free not week, wasn't Heaven's it? Ward no, not, not Heaven's Ward. Like, I think they'll do a free week. Week was it a week? It was a week, wasn't it? Yeah, week. yeah. For, uh, <laughs> it was like literally the week we got back into yeah, it. That, as well. that was like the strangest thing. So, weird. quick story: like me and Richard used to play Final Fantasy a lot when it came when, it, when, it, when it released on the PS4. Like, and then and we start, Dan, like we convinced oh. Dan a few weeks ago to to buy it, and he was into it and that, and we were like, "Oh, we'll start playing it again." So, I logged in to the Mog Station. I was like, "Oh, you don't have any credit left," and I was like, "Oh, just for yeah. a joke, I'll try and log on to the game and see if it lets me in." And you were in work, Richard, remember? And like. Yeah. I logged in. It was like, "Are you sure you'd like to log in?" And I was like, e- "Okay." And the loading screen <laughs> come up, and I was like, "What?" And it put me in Gridania, and I was like, "I'm in here for free." <laughs> like it kind of felt like I was. It kind of felt like I was in a club underage, and the bouncers are like looking for you, and you just kind of keeping your head. I was like walking around Gridania, like, "I'm not paying to be here," and like. So you got in from work, Richard, and you were like, oh, yeah. I'll try it. And I you got in for free. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then after a bit of research, we found out that it was actually a free, like, taste a week. <laughs> it was just the, week, the yeah, Literally thing. the day we started. And then, it was like, when, when, I finally, when, we bothered, when I bothered to check, like, oh, okay, I'm just going to check, like, why it would be free. And just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, today's the last day. Like, oh. The reason, anyway, the reason yeah. I think that they'll do a free week is because you have to beat the main, you have to beat the 2.5 campaign, right? To unlock Heaven's Ward. You have to be up to date with the main scenario quests. Which ones are? To go on to Heaven's Ward. I, don't, I can't remember. I'm up to in the main scenario. Okay. I don't think I'm up to date with the main scenario. Near enough, I think. I can't remember if it, if it was a boss I was up to or... Cause I don't ultimate, think, is ultimate... Leviathan part of the main scenario? Um, Ultima is not part of the main scenario. Guys, let's pause cool. this podcast. Or we'll do a couple of rounds of Garuda on Half Life 3. Jump back out of it. Hello, Ming Goose Boy 101. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the podcast. Hello. Talking about Heaven Sword. Um, yeah. Um, I can't think. Maybe it was Leviathan. Because. I, I, one of the last bosses I fought before my subscription ran out was Leviathan, and I'm pretty sure it was main scenario quest because I was doing all a bunch of the side ones because I wanted weapons and stuff. Mm-hmm. Getting greedy. Yeah. I got quite lucky. I'm not lucky at all. Like, you're, ever you're the most in games. Like, you two are like the <laughs> luckiest people <laughs> like, in that ever. game. But I, in that <laughs> game, I was so lucky. <laughs> like I got everything. I like. <laughs> It, it happened in, it happened in, so it happened in, Des- like, it happened oh, in Destiny as well. Greed, oh, yeah. in a bit. Yeah. Like, I, played, I played Destiny and it was like, remember when, when like, they had the loot cave, Richard? Like, in the <laughs> yeah. early days, and it was like, oh, sweet, they have this cave where you just keep shooting enemies and you get loot drops. And it's like, okay, sweet. So I'm sat there for, like, an hour shooting, like, getting green drops, which is, like, the common drops. And then Richard comes along, he's like, hey, pretty sweet farm, and shoots, gets, like, two purples. I'm sat there, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why me? The same happened in Final Fantasy when we got back into it. It's like, okay, we just. Because we haven't played since the 2.1 update, which yeah, is when they introduced so, yeah. all the bosses in like hard mode. So just burning through all the hard mode bosses, trying to get the um, the weapons and whatnot. <clears throat> and I, I must have ran Ifrit like 35 times and didn't, get the, bard, the, didn't get the bard weapon from it, like the, the Bow of Inferno or whatever it was. And then Dan finally catch up with me, <laughs> does it, it's gets good. a first try. Like, <laughs> was it first go? Yeah, sure. Sure. I think it was I first it was. go, it's shown up. Oh, and I got it. Ming Gooseboy wants to ask us a question. Yeah, you can ask us a question. Yeah, sure. We'll, ju- we'll just uh, thingy, jump on. So, um, wh- where were we up to? Oh, yeah. Are we up to my second one? Or did um, you want to talk I about said my second one, which was, which was yeah, Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward. Okay, quick question Is it Heaven's Sword? I think it's Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward. Like, Ward is in, like, I think he was. Like a hospital ward? Well, I imagine it's not. Yeah. Probably. Or wards, as in you know, war can like be war, like it's like a, like a you know. shield, bar- like to bury magic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I think so. That makes more sense, actually. actually. Sure, it's not weird. No sw- so. sword, <laughs> sw- heaven sword, heaven sword, heaven sword. No, he- heaven sword. 
Sorry about that. You don't say heaven sword. Uh, <laughs> what is yeah. your favorite game in the whole in the world? Favorite game Ming. in the world? That's a, that's a hard question. Oh, I don't want to go oh. first. <laughs> Well, see, uh, I get torn between if it's. If, I normally, I'd always say Final Fantasy VII. Oh, stereotypical. <laughs> but and now I'm unsure. But mm. it's definitely well, most nostalgic. I'll, I'll say Final Fantasy VII because Final Fantasy VII. it's see, yeah, I like somewhere. Yeah. So. Well, if we're going off nostalgia, um, I think, no, I think it is my favorite. Either that, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy VII. See, I always get torn between these two, but. Is one of them Link? No. Or Zelda? No. Neither yeah. of them Zelda? No. It's probably think. either Dragon Quest VIII. Oh, oh that's knows. a good one. Or such a good Kirby game. Superstar. Because Kirby Superstar is one of those games where I can get 100% completion on it and then just erase it and do it all yeah. again. Like, I can just replay <laughs> it so much. I fucking love that game. But to be honest, I'll probably have to go for Dragon Quest VIII just because it's a fucking gem and I love it. I love the characters and love the story. But Richard, that's good. That's good. What is your favorite Me? game in the world? Yeah. Oh, I seriously do not know, because like I don't have like that much, that many nostalgic games as you guys. Like you guys, like you think to your past, and, like what do you guys play as a lot as a kid? And I played a lot of games as a kid, but none of them really. Well, a lot of them were, like fun at the time, but it's not like something I would go back to mm. personally. Not because I don't not, enjoy it, you... just because it's past the time kind of thing. It's like. Like that was good for then, and if I go back to it now, it might ruin it. But I understand. Yeah, ruin. I get that. Yeah, yeah. But I do I've, as I've a kid. That. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I've got that with yeah. a few games. A lot of games I go back to. I've gone back. I'd loved as a kid, especially mm. RPGs. I go back to, um, with a child's mindset, thinking it was bigger <laughs> than it was, and then I'm really underwhelmed when I go back to it, which really ruins it for me. But that's the only thing. But you, you also do you want to have do you have an answer for him? Oh my! I, I said Diablo two. If, if Diablo 2. I think they should Diablo two was so good. Oh, it was so good. It was so, Diablo three. I was like so much so looking forward to Diablo three when they announced it, but then it just kind of a bit of disappointment when it released. But Diablo two as a child, it was so fun. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, the online. I don't know whether there's online still up now. If it would, if it is, I probably mm. I would still probably, be playing not that with Diablo now. three though. But... He also hmm? asked us what was the what would be the one drug yeah, that we'd yeah. never try. Um, All of drug. them. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't video yeah. game a drug? Well, Richard's um, a pretty hardcore druggy, in case you didn't know. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I take Richard all day. No, go on. We'll have to hurry up because, like, we should know these things. I'd probably say heroin. Heroin. I'd agree. Actually, if I'm being legit, like legit serious, probably heroin, not yeah. all of them. All of the drugs. Yeah. All of the oh, Let's get back to the most anticipated before we run it too dry. Number two. Number two. Go number two. Another so probably a surprise. Destiny. You won't get. Destiny two. Destiny House of Wolves. You got it. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> no. Um. It's actually Xenoblade Chronicles X. Isn't that already out? No, no. Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, for the, like the 3D. For the, but this is the, is the Wii it. U one. <laughs> um. And I sw- I touched on it a little bit last week, but the scale of that game scares me. Like. Just watching it again and touching back on Dragon Quest Eight, it kind of reminds me of Dragon Quest Eight. And now that I've been playing the three D one, I didn't play Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. Um, because have you noticed like over here in the UK, we don't get like any shit like that, like properly publicized. <laughs> I don't think anyway. I know we had like that golden controller bundle with it, but like it was it was hardly advertised anywhere. You always see like American YouTubers and stuff with like all the big like the big box shit, but we don't get any of that shit over here. I always see like quite. Uh... Well, not always, but sometimes you'll see Americans and they're like, oh, Japan gets so, so much cooler stuff mm-hmm. than us. Like, like, oh, like, and so and we're like, stuff. you don't realise how yeah. much cooler stuff you get than we us. Get, we, get so we don't little. get shit. <laughs> yeah. And we have to look at Japan and America. Mm. On top of not getting stuff as well, like, generally America's just bigger anyway, so they get more stock of things. So, like, it's it's much harder to get all the shit here. I think the game community is really weird over here as well. I feel like America is the place I need to be. It's it's so fucked up. But yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X coming out for the Wii U. Uh, it says it's supposed to come out this year. I think last last week I said it was coming out in the summer, but I don't think it's till fall now. Like it'll definitely be after fall. Hopefully we'll see some more footage of it at E3. Um, 
but they've got the first 15 minutes on YouTube and I'm so tempted to watch but like as you know me I don't watch videos on like gameplay and shit because I, I like experiencing it myself sorry. and stuff like that sorry Paul's too cool it's Richard however watches the full thing. game before he buys it and makes a decision <laughs> It's not a, true. Oh, we're called no spoilers. I actually watched him YouTube once full playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's, and he watched every little thing. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, that's that's, that's, that's like a two-hour game. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. not even a game. It's yeah, more Xenoblade of an experience. Like, that's my number two. Might have to invest in that Xenoblade. Do you have if any? If my plate's yeah. clear. I think like it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be a massive leap for the. Wii U, I think. I Wii U. Feel. It's going to be such a... I mean, you only have to look at Majora's Mask and even the Xenoblade on the 3DS, releasing for the new 3DS. Like, that moved so many units alone. Just Majora's Mask 3D. But, do you yeah. have any honourable mentions, then, before you get to your number one? Um, Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward. No, it's already been mentioned. Yeah, honourable been mentioned. Mention. That's um, not very honourable of you, sir. What, 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 what... <laughs> What else is coming Mingu, out? Mingu's um, boy says in America already. we don't get nothing, just new games. Yeah, but at least you get like more quantity and you get so much more stuff ported. Like you get better. Yeah, I think yeah, it means yeah. like collected editions and such. We or do you? Yeah, uh, we'll get collectors better editions, collectors. but only for like big blockbuster titles. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Really, I'd well, say it's definitely right. it's definitely not as big over here than it is in America. Unless it's independent, like, yeah, unless it's Kickstarter mm. or whatever. Like. But yeah. I don't. I can't even think. I'm. Pro- there's probably games in, in the back of my head that yeah, if you, just if forgetting about. Yeah, it's, but, it's easy to forget about them. Uh, What's your number one then? My number one, Kingdom Hearts three. Of course, good guess. I just. I, I want it. Of course. Another one you've been waiting years <laughs> for, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've gave us stuff in between, like the uh, side games, prequels, and. In between games and, and and a sequel, actually, Dream Jack Distance takes place after two. Um, but yeah, I want a console. Want me pads? I want new engine, new updated next gen graphics. I want a full six score orchestral Disney esque score. Yeah, <laughs> and new characters, new worlds. Wait, um, is this, is this, um, characters. If, anyone, if anyone from Disney. Square or anyone knows Square's listening, we want a collector's edition with 1.5 <laughs> with and 2.5 included for the PS4. That, um, these yeah, are our demands. Yeah, big bundle. <laughs> these are our demands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm, I've got a secret fund saved in case you they do that so that I can get a collector's edition. I'll pay my <laughs> money. Every, like, time, every room, time Amazon like, stocks at 2.5. Shut up and take it. Yeah. <laughs> Like every time Amazon stock the two point five edition, <laughs> like, oh, like over a hundred pounds, and uh, I'm so tempted to just buy it. But then you always come back and say, "What if you do it?" Yeah, with, like a third one with the exactly. That's why, like, what once I bought the uh, new PS3 off you, yeah. um, I want to, I want to get them, but I'd... because only because what's making me think they'll do it more is because after Final Fantasy X and X two got ported to PS3. And in HD, and then now it's exactly, coming up. Yeah. Yes, <clears throat> so I have a feeling they'll probably and do that. that was only what same company, isn't it? Two, so. two years ago, Final Fantasy X was ported. No, it was actually last year, wasn't it? Last March. I think it was last and year. And yeah. the PS4 one's out this month, next week actually. And I have a pre-ordered, so I can't wait to get back into that. You've pre-ordered it too, right, Richard? Pre-ordered which Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy... For PS4? Uh, no, I haven't. You didn't know. I thought you did. Ah. We're running, I know you thought we're running this quite long actually so do you want to go for your number one Richard or honourable mentions actually do you have any that you want to mention that... yeah the Warhammer series like I've been waiting for that to come back after like Since Warhammer 40K. 2 <clears throat> to, no, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War not Dawn of War space 2 Marine. like number 2 Space Marine not Space Marine it was a um, real time strategy game that one. Oh right no, number 2 but, space, like, 40k Space Marine not Space Marine no no Warhammer 40k um, it Holy was, shit, uh, dude! The two. tabletop, <laughs> Richard, you fucking nerd! <laughs> After Cousin Clemens, that no one will understand that reference. Of course, unless Adam Lyons um, is watching, <laughs> or anyone from Rocket Jump, <laughs> which I don't think they are. Uh, no, yeah, Dawn of War two that came out a while ago. That was like pretty. It wasn't too good, like mm. honestly. And then now, now they're doing a a new line of Warhammer games, like Warhammer Forty Side Rise Side. 
is kind of like it's almost like chess in a way. If you haven't seen it, have you? I haven't. No, this is the first. No, time no, it's, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like chess pieces, but like you, you can move the space marines mm. like over like two steps, and then you, you do attack move. But it's like set up like a chessboard. Right. But it's it's weird. I'll let you guys look it up. No spoilers, of course. Of course. But then mm-hmm. Warhammer <clears throat> is doing like a, another game, which is kind of have you, like the Left 4 Dead series. Mm. So it's oh, like, really? like, like, like a survival, yeah. survival, kind of survival. I'm not too sure about the story, but I've seen gameplay. And it's just it's pretty similar, but it's it's instead of like guns, it's going to be most because it's this is set in Warhammer, the first Warhammer, not 40k. Right. So this is like yeah. not medieval, but it's like uh, like fantasy. like swords and shit, fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And it's, it's going to be big. I'm just going to shoot. I'll be two seconds. Be right back. Whoa, unprofessional. <laughs> Well, Terrible. actually, to be fair, that's What's pretty fine like? because I'm not too sure what my uh, what your number, number one is. One is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'll watch this back on the recording. Be <laughs> like, uh, uh, did Dan, do you have anything to suggest? Any to suggest upcoming for my number one? No, I, can't, I can get I, proper height. Mine's gone blank. Um, uh, um, um, what's his name? Ming Goose Boy, if you're still watching, um, tell us your number one and I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, you'll steal it. <laughs> I'll steal it. Uh, um, um, no, no offense. Ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ukulele, because that's my favorite. I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's going to be a Mario Maker. <laughs> Mario Maker? Oh. No. Nah. Sorry, literally as soon as I put the camera on, I have to piss. <laughs> I was you like, I was at the time, off. I was like, you asshole. I was like, can I make it to the break? Can I make it to the break? Can I make it to the break? I was like, nah. It's like, Richard's talking about 40k. No, can I no. make it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you talk about your number one? No, I didn't. I waited. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, what's your number one? The big um, the uh, It's. You guys guess. Can we. Oh, should we try and get. We didn't guess Dan's. <laughs> um. Oh, another honorable mention, Blood Bowl 2. Blood Bowl. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that the there. The sequel to Blood Bowl 2. Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Blood Bowl 2. What's Blood Bowl 2? I've never heard of it. Blood Bowl? It's, it's, like it's Warhammer 40, Warhammer again. Oh. It's, all, it's all these Warhammer titles. No. When you guys were playing your Zeldas Warhammer. and Links, I was <laughs> already 40k. <laughs> Chris, Christmas and Richard's house Zelda's is just like Link. an entire family surrounded on a 40k table. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking nerds. No, okay. You're not, you're not. I'll, I'll let you guess. They're doing, it's not recently, but it's been taken over by a large corporation. Mm-hmm. And they're doing films for it as well. Hmm. A new one. So, so they're so making them. So not the first, and it's, it's not a new IP. Uh, uh, nice. Not a new IP. It's pretty old, really old. Richard hates the Arkham games. Oh yeah, fuck that. <laughs> uh, it's really old. I only played the second. It's been going for ages. There's loads Mad and Max? loads. Of, no, no, loads of sequels. Not sequels, but then loads of like um, branches of the game. That's like done well. Some done poorly and such. Um. And there's a movie coming up, coming out movie. shortly, which everyone was going over about. Like, oh man, that's that 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 thing sucks. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. Like, why didn't they make the lightsaber like like this? Not... Is it Star Wars Battlefront? Battlefront? Yeah. Really? Is it really? Yeah. That's surprising. I don't know you talk about that one. Go on, elaborate. Elaborate. Like, I remember the f- was not 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 Battlefront. Wait. Which one? Which one? Star Wars. One of the Star Wars games that I used to play. I think, yeah, I just, this is just like... I had Battlefront out yesterday, actually. It's it's made the list of games I need to rebuy because they don't work anymore. <laughs> I got it out yesterday to have a little go on the PS2 and it just wouldn't load the disc. I think the first Battlefront. I had number two on the PS2. The new well. one. I've, I've mm. only, like, scrapped a load of stuff from the new one. Mm, well, from yeah, I was... EA. I've got a thing, actually, with the one. I like a picture there, so... But, um... Hang on, let me find it. Oh, well, I say scrapped, but I mean condensed. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, with the list here. It was like, 
number of maps. This is comparing it to like Battlefield, Battlefront Two. Yeah, so yeah. The first thing I'll say is Battlefront Two. The second thing I'll say is Battlefront Two. Yeah, two. Oh, back. so number of maps: thirty-three total, sixteen planets plus four DLC maps. Uh, the new one has two maps per planet, and there's been five confirmed planets, so that's ten maps total so far. Uh, I think mm. this got updated actually. I think this is like an old version of it, but number of players: uh, thirty-two versus thirty-two on all modes. That's for the old one. Yeah. Uh, the new one's right. twenty v twenty, on maps designed for this number of players. So there's no scaling for the number of players per map, which is a bit of a fucking piss to you. I hate that. Uh, space battles, yes. Um, Battlefront is in atmosphere battles instead, which I'm not sure what it means about that. Maybe it's kind of like No Man's Sky where it's air to land. No idea. Moddable, yeah, unconfirmed for the new one. Not too fussed on modern, as I've said. DLC, mm. one with four maps and two new heroes, five dollars. And the new one's got one free DLC announced. And it, ju it just goes on like that, just slamming it. But... No, continue. This is interesting. Is it really? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> one of the big ones, though, that they did scrap from, well, oh, apparently scrap from the slap. new one, is there's no campaign. No campaign. No, no campaign. No campaign, and um, the infantry types. There's only been two announced heroes, whereas in the old one yeah. there was nineteen. So that's like all your Jedi's, all your Sith, mm -hmm. and extra characters like that. Which was like you arguably, know what? you know what? Screw Battlefront. Screw thing. Battlefront. <laughs> Put your One Piece it. Pirate Warriors free. Also, Ming Goose Boy followed <laughs> us, and the thing didn't pop up. The gun finger. Oh, um, what? No gun fingers. Oh, fucking hell! I have to sort that out for next time. I don't think I've got it set up on this on this source. On. Um, give him the gun fingers now. Should we all give him the gun fingers? Should I get like a Let's like give... a? Oh. Know, I'll get the song up. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like a one a one off thing for Ming Goose Boy. I've just yeah. typed in Ming Goose Boy on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Special. This especially. is especially for you, Ming Goose Boy. Because if you're still watching, because I feel like I you are. I think he is. I think he's still here. I asked him a question and he didn't answer me back, so I'm guessing he's gone. Hit me up. Well, the world is the delay. Stuff. Sorry, there's a Mars bar advert on YouTube. <laughs> so bad. This is actually a one off thing. Where is it? I think it's 16 seconds. He's ready to give it the gun fingers for Ming Goose Boy. Of yeah. course. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, and that was it. <laughs> I'm done. That's for Ming Goose Boy, thanks for following, bro. But, um,. And he left after we started. And he left because we just we just insulted him with that dancing. But um, where were we up to? Um, um, I, I had said fuck Battlefield. Battlefield. Yeah. You're not into Battlefront. anticipating anymore. No, I'm not. It'll one piece. It'll, 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 one be, piece. it'll be good. It'll, it'll be good. good. It'll still be good. Yeah, I mean, they've done it before. Where a lot of people are too quick to jump on the. I hate everything hype bandwagon. Trains. Well, really. should we talk about hype trains? <clears throat> we can talk don't about you, hype trains later. Don't you think that um, hatred is, is just a big yet. hype now? <laughs> Shush, I haven't done my number one yet. Wait. Oh, you haven't done your number one? <laughs> yeah, got some honorable yeah. mentions as well. Um, Mario okay. Maker for the Wii. For you. That'll be fun. I mean, not too sure about the price though. $60. Doesn't well, look like is it $60 dollars, really? Well, that's what they've announced it as, but... I think they'll drop it. Uh, the Witness, another good one for the uh, PS4, I believe. Looks like Mist. Mm. Remember Mist? Similar to Mist. Oh yeah. The first person adventure I've got, I've, puzzler. I uh, I've got like a uh, special edition Mist and Riven I mean, really? the sequel. And it's got like. A uh, do you remember like the Riven that I got from the car? Busy. Like, like I found Riven on oh, the was PS1. That, was and, PS1, yeah, 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 and I've got like disc one, two, three, and five, and like when I opened it, there was just no disc four. I was like, oh, bum bum ba dum. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uncharted four, Just Cause three, and Hatred. Honorable hey. mentions. All big games I'm looking forward to, but just games that I'd look forward to naturally, like not in the like like no, like the other ones I've listed, not ones the 
are like groundbreaking or introduce like something new. Like I know Uncharted Four is going to be sick cinematically, Just Cause Three is going to be massive, but they just deserve an honorable mention because I'm looking forward to them. I'm surprised. You, do you reckon you can guess my number one? It's like the like you should be able to guess my number one. Is it um, Devil May Cry? No, Devil May Cry. Yeah. The, the the new the HD Metal Gear Solid. Dang got it. Metal Gear Solid Five. Only because like it's so, like. I'm, I'm, of the course. Big, I'm the biggest Metal Gear fan. That's an honourable mention, actually. That I should have done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, see, just, I'm just, I'm just yep. interested to see, like, as well as like following the story of number five. I'm interested to see what the fuck Kojima's doing. What the fuck? <laughs> What's he doing? He's in, that dude. I know I've been throwing around the word enigma tonight, but that dude is actual enigma. I, I, he's, he's a human phenomenal. He's, like, he's a human puzzle. Like, oh, what's he up to? <laughs> What's he doing? I, I don't know. What are you doing? He, he, does he, he exist fired? or is he, he just the concept? Does, does he, is he fired? Hired? Is he <laughs> like, quit? Like, no one knows. Oh no God. one knows what he's doing. No. Where is he? What's he doing? <laughs> I don't well, know. Yeah, I'm interested to see, especially with Silent Hill's rip being cancelled. <laughs> What's going on? He needs to do like a press conference like fucking Iron Man. He needs to just come out and say, I am Snake. And then pull a mask off. It's like I am man. <laughs> yeah, you're an Iron Man, where like you could like. Oh, actually, I can't spoil it, can I? Shit. So this is just spoiler dude. warning. If you haven't seen Iron Man one, you're what, a, what are you doing? Stick. You deserve you to be spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where he's like, you went to the Age of Ultron and you haven't seen Iron Man one. Shame. Then you shouldn't. Technically, you shouldn't know who Iron Man is unless you read the comics because you. <laughs> You wouldn't know it was Robert Downey Jr., would you? You'd be like, who's that? Who's, why is Robert Downey Jr. in the film? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> who's, who's this blue? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, he... they don't realise that he's Iron Man yeah, yeah. the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> the whole film. <laughs> it's just, oh, Iron Man here. Where's Robbie Downey Jr.? Yeah, where... Why don't we ever see them in the same place? <laughs> yeah. Wait a MGS5. Minute. MGS5 should be dubbed The Mystery of Kojima. Like, that should be the subtitle. <clears throat> Forget. What's It'll just fan, forget it Phantom like Pain? Of... It should just be called the Kojima Mystery or the Kojima Tale. <laughs> the DLC. Kojimas. But, uh, who knows? I mean, hopefully, <laughs> e- like that's the thing. With that, the it's so mad because last year's E3 there was nothing really exciting. It was just game reveals. The year before that was like the biggest year because it was like, oh, the next gen consoles being announced. We need, to, you know, we want to see what games will come out. This year, I feel like everyone's just anticipating E3 because no one knows what the fuck's going on with anything. So they're just waiting, like, for E3 to, like, clar- clarify all these little things, like, all these loose ends. They're just like, what's going on? Like, I was literally <laughs> thinking that be- the before. I was in the car and I was thinking, like, I can't wait for E3. I j- yeah, I just don't know what's going on, like, at all. I know that what's in development and stuff, they're just. Just little tidbits yeah, in it, yeah, and it's just like I want to. I want to know the updates because I've had like virtually no update, at least no decent ones. <laughs> Heard nothing on the games I'm looking forward to anyway. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to know games this year. It's a good little section, forty-eight minutes. I feel. I feel like this will be a re- reoccurring thing. I feel like we should call the first like half hour slash hour of the podcast get to know us better. Because yeah, I feel like these little, these little, I know top tens are so overdone and like top this and top These aren't top tens though, these are top threes, yeah. buddies. E- either way, like, I know ranking stuff, but like, Living there now. I feel like it, it gets. <laughs> Rankings, oh, oh, deedla. Over, overdone. Yeah, overdone. Oh, deedla. It's OP. It's o- <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> Too many. Overpowered segment. But yeah. No, I think it's good because it, it you know, it gives a little background into us. We have like a different thing. What happens when we're on 200? And I get to know us even more. Yeah. This morning I took... It gets to know us less. Fact... We start quizzing people. Like the first half hour. Yeah. Like people in the chat. What do you know about us? <laughs> <laughs> have we said it's too much? Quiz about the question. You said too much. <laughs> he know too much. He know. Take him out. Too much. <laughs> Got a sniper much. trained on your position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you beat who snipers Wi Fi? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. Oh, no way. I've we said that we you. said last time, Dan was like, because um, we did, we, me and Richard filmed an episode that convinced me like last week. 
yeah, and then yeah. we film the podcast as well and it's like <laughs> it's gonna be a reoccurring theme of like richard trying to introduce things and then me just going jesus christ bars hey guys <laughs> I <think it's> so <laughs> funny. Well, yeah uh, should we take a quick break to get coffee and piss um, and guys and then we'll come back to the main news topics of the night i think you should also post the podcast on youtube don't forget to follow guys follow our YouTube. yeah that's, that's the problem no like, we i was gonna put the youtube like url on the overlay just so people can see it and stuff like that but you can't well, have a custom is... url anymore unless you're 500 subscribers so we need you to get us to 500 so we can start <laughs> doing custom urls it'll be much it'll be much easier like it, we were already contested with a channel called No Spoilers, who has one video. It's like an episode of Friends or something. <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> thing. It's such a waste um, of a good URL. Can't you put the link like on the title? Yeah, well, I'll put subtitle the subtitle or something. That's a, that's a shout, actually. Yeah, I'll go back in and edit the, the description um, or some shit. Edit the description and put the the link to it. But if you if you just okay. type in No Spoilers or convince me, like we only have that one video. One video. Yeah, but hopefully, well, I'm I'm gonna try and get the both podcasts done up tonight. It's gonna be. It's yeah. gonna be weird. Just type in "convince me" episode one, "Killing Floor 2. Yeah, talking about "Killing Floor 2. on YouTube. Because oh. if you just type in "no spoilers," they well, yeah, follow, follow us on follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitch. Twitch is probably the most important one at the minute, I think, because we're primarily streaming. Yeah, follow our it's "no spoiler" yeah. Twitch, which you know, under Paul Turner. There's 94. too many social networks to tell people to follow. You can follow me Twitter as well, but that's just that's just like a like if you follow us on Twitch, Twitch notifies you when we go live. So. I mean, my, my Twitter does well. Like, I'll always tweet out just before we go live, which I've been doing. So, either or, but primarily Twitch. We need we need the Twitch followers really to boost us up to the front page, and the more people we get behind us, the better. Watch us before the big fight. Oh yeah, big fight tonight. Who do you want to win? I'm behind Pac-Man. I really want Pac-Man. So, like I hate feet. Floyd Mayweather's so fucking cocky. Wait, what? Like, Are you talking about an actual fight or boxing? Yeah, a street fight. <laughs> No, was boxing, yeah. of course. That's so weird. Some blanket. guy in our, some some people in our restaurant was like, "Yeah, yeah, we just want to get some food because they came in like about half eleven or so." And I was like, "Yeah, we we'll go and watch the boxing later. The fights." It's like, "Oh, there's a fight. What time is that?" It's like four a.m. It's like, "Oh, okay, cool. Okay, right, here's your food." And then uh, that you guys now saying there's a fight. It's like, "What? Oh, is this is an actual thing?" And then you said Pac-Man, and I was like, "Are they? Are those guys talking about the same?" The fighting on Super Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> just Pac-Man versus who is he fighting? It's the Pac-Man amiibo versus the Floyd Mayweather amiibo, the Little Mac amiibo. <laughs> little Mac, yeah. yeah. <laughs> little Mayweather. But yeah, we're gonna take a quick break, get some coffee, and then come back for some um, okay, some gaming guys. news. And I've still haven't made an AFK screen, so I'm just gonna do the H1Z1 again. <laughs> H1Z1. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I guess not because it's not working. 